Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a palette ranking. Um, nothing's one of these palettes. I have, I didn't buy any of these palettes actually. Actually, I bought two actually, but um, some of them were from friends. Um, and those were uh, from Box Charm, Glossy Box. I did um, stop my Glossy Box because the customer service is just rude. I did get actually get my box. It was just kind of like, eh. I'm kind of glad I did. So let's get into this ranking. So let's start from the bottom to the top. So over the Estee palette, um, this is a hidden garden palette. Um, the reason why this guy is at the bottom, the mattes are um, are actually better than the last palette, but I do like the color story better. So they kind of like vice versa. But the reason why this one's at the bottom is because of um, there's not there's no um, like duh, out of V crease then um transition then and then also um this is also at the bottom because of these two are very the shimmers are very subtle they're not very blinding you can wet them and they don't they get to like a light metallic so if you like that perspective you will like that if you like a more poppy like today it's kind of like oh my god this wing this one island does that every freaking time it smudges. Um, you know, like that. These two I really do like. The mattes are pretty, but other than that, it's just like, it just kind of fell short. So let me swatch some of the um, shadows real quick. Okay, here's some of the swatches. Not the best. Um, you can see, like, compared to, like, this one is a nice in a corner. Um, like, especially, like, that one. And the other one's, like, not as good at all um like they're just not it's like they're hard to get on oh, nice <laughs> they're just very soft which is okay if you like that perspective but i don't really i don't like the soft perspective cats on the um window so yeah there's that and of course it needed like another mat to be um more versatile Okay, next palette is this one right here from Ace Pate. I was very excited to see this palette into BoxyCharm. Um, this is kind of filthy. So this is what it looks like. It's a beautiful, um, the packaging is pretty. I do like the packaging, but um, we don't wait palettes on packaging. So this is what it looks like. If they were to um, switch this one out right here and put into a green shimmer, oh my god, it would have been just like good. Uh, for me, um, this is deep, but it's not... The deep is a black. I like a black. Um, but other way, it's fine if you don't like the whole thing. Uh, this is more... I don't get, like, why it's in... We got fall. Like, I guess we got... Um, not this month, but the fall. The last month. Um, in this box, I was kind of like, okay, so late summer palette, I guess. So this is one. So there's that. My one man just been bugging me all day. I had to do some go for work for my boss. So there's that. We do some swatches for you. So there's the uh, swatches. Um, this one I need to build up a little bit more. It's a very pastel, but it's a pastel, but it had to, some pastels are better, some pastels are not. The mattes in this palette, the shimmers are really beautiful. The shimmers are gorgeous. Again, like I said, um, we didn't need these two, uh, especially these two are similar, especially these two. Um, so they could have either swap this one out or vice versa and, um, and put it on a green. If they would have done that, I would have probably rank it very towards the top and it would have been perfect. But it was just that one. And also, the, the mattes are just not as good as um, the next two Ace Potato palettes. I have like three in this ranking. So there's that one. My friend Rania gave me this one. This is um, by Eloise. Um, funny, that's my um, niece's name, Eloise. Um, so my mom's like, can I have the packaging of it? I'm like, Jesus Christ. Um, so this is what it looks like. Um, it's a pretty palette. I do like it. Um, reason why it's at the bottom. The formula is fine. Um, the shimmers are just kind of inconsistent. I use about at least half of the shimmers. Um, like this one, I had to like, and I, it looks like I did this eye. This thing is like so messed up right there. It's because of the eyeliner. But it's one of those things, it's just like, I do like, she gave them to me because she doesn't like color. Um, I love color. Um, the blue is gorgeous. Um, let me swatch it. Some of these so you can. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Some of the colors. Um, you can see like, um, like especially that one. Um, 
It's not as strong. Um, some of them are just like, the shimmers are inconsistent. Um, the mattes are pretty good. I do like the mattes. This one is just kind of like, like you can see like how, even in the pan how the different, um, like this one's good, this one's good. Um, this one's pretty good. The queen shade was okay. Um, the mat, the throne is just kind of like, they're just inconsistent. It's just one of those things I was, I've had this palette for at least a few months and I'm just like, I've been, at least I forget when she sent this to me. Um, like, I think it was back in June or July. Um, and I just like, why? I just don't have an opinion of it. And then I still really don't. I don't really have an opinion. I've used it like a few times after that and it's just kind of like, okay, it's nice. It's okay. It's just like, whatever. I do like the color story. It's just like, I just don't have a pin. It's one of those things I don't really have an opinion of it. All right, I had to pause it because my, one of my innit neighbors are having the music up to like Timbuktu. Okay, next is the Born This Way Sunset Strip. I did grab this one. Um, I was going to get this one or the uh, new chocolate one and the chocolate one is just like a swatch. It just fell short. I was like, God damn it. I grabbed this one. I was like, fuck it. Um, then the next one I'm going to talk about in the next palette thing, it'll probably be later in sometime in November. I don't know. I'll just see how BoxyCharm sends me my palettes, if they send me a palette or not. So that's what it is. The packaging is nice and flecked. It's similar to the other one. This one is more of a rosy um, kind of expective. Um, this one's, a, one's a, hair a bit darker than the last one. I do like this one. The formula on this one is decent. Um, the mattes are really good. Um, mattes are standard Too Faced quality. Um, the shimmers are just nice um, compared to the old, the kind of like compared to the old chocolate formula. That's what it reminds me of. The, the shadow and um, surfboard, I really do like that one. It's really pretty. Uh, again, I don't go Goo Goo Gaga. This, I always say that um, I don't go Guga Gaga over um, lights, but some of them I do. All right, this guy um, on the eyes, it looks better than the desert pose. <laughs> this is a halo eye palette because, of course, this is light. Um, this is the darkest shadow as it goes. These are not going to be a uh, very smoky um, palette unless you just do a matte look. And then it can get smoky, um, especially for me. I know, I'm like swatching every freaking shimmer because the shimmers are just pretty. Um, the shimmers are the one of those things you can't just go, you, they don't really work with brush. I don't use brushes for to apply my shimmers. They work better if you kind of like go like this, that type of thing, kind of like you press it on the eyes and you kind of like that. And then you can get the impact. If you do, where well, you do it, um, it doesn't really go that good. They do really beautiful it with, um, when you wet them out as well, but it's one of those things that we show you with like how you kind of like, kind of like so type of thing. Um, actually, the especially this uh, again, like I said, I don't go Goo Goo Gaga over sticking it in a corner over light shades, but that is, I'm like, it's a duochrome. I'm like, yeah, it's gorgeous. Um, so as long as you do that, the formula is pretty good. The formula on the, sh the Spice palette from Too Faced, freaking good. Um, that one surprised me a lot. Okay. But the, the palette, these are um, nice, but just make sure you do um, kind of like a press motion when you do the um, shimmers. I had to wipe my nose. Okay, next palette. We got the Ace Petit uh, Paradise Fallen uh, palette. Um, Rena sent me this one. Um, so this is what the packaging looks like. I'm not sure if it's the old formula or the new formula. But um, she's not into this color story and yeah, I love it. <laughs> I really like this one. The shimmers on like these two are freaking beautiful. The mattes compared to the mattes and um, this formula, this seems like I like, I never tried the old formula of the Ace Pate, but this seems what it kind of is. The old formula of the Ace Pate, it's just inconsistent. Um, but this formula right here is very good. Um, the formula blends out really nice. Again, I'm not sure if it's an old formula, new formula. Um, I didn't have any issue for going light to dark or dark to light. This one, I always, I had to go dark to light because if not, I could not build it at, at all. It was just like, I was at my, I was at my friend's house. I was like, he's like, 
usually done a VI shot by now. I'm like, it's the freaking eye shadow. But this one, I had no issue. Um, let me swatch some of the shadows. These two purple shadows, like I say, are beautiful. The mattes are gorgeous. I really did like this palette. Um, it's one of my... Uh, the, I have three um, HPT palettes now, and this is like one of the top top ones. Um, I was going to put it towards the toppy top, but the next two I really do like. Um, so let me swatch it for you. But there's that. So um, this one here is a pressed glitter. Um, this is also a pressed glitter. If you don't like pressed glitters, um, you won't like this palette. Me, I don't care. The plus glitters for profusion um, are okay. They're not the best. The metallics are nice. Um, but anyways, I think I should probably put this one out towards... <laughs> switch these two, but... But, yeah... This certain things that kept this guy kind of like at, at the up high. Swatches. So this is what it looks like. These again, like I said, um, the bottom two are pressed glitters. They do stay on the eye pretty decent. I don't have issues. Pressed glitters are pressed glitters. They do go on the face. Um, some of them are better than others. Some of them are not. Um, perfusions are decent. I make revolution um, in those little pot things from their um, sub brand. Yeah, don't try those. Those are bad. <laughs> Those are like almost similar to the old wet and wild ones that they used to have. Okay, those were horrible. Those are, okay, the Makeaway Evolution may be a little bit better. Okay, so these are pretty decent. Um, the pastel, pastels um, from the Huda palette and to the Profusion palette are uncomparable. Um, the pastels from the Profusion palette is um, guy belt. The Huda palette is very um, like pigmented. Um, the pa but if you don't like that perspective, you are like, if you have, think the hue is a little too pigmented for you, um, then yeah. I have no issue um, going dark to light. Usually I just do more of a, do um, my crease and then I do, I kind of like do my crease work. Then I do the transition and then I do the outer V. Kind of like today I did in that, which is not the best because that stupid wing. I always have, um, my eyes always water. So, um, if you, again, I don't know why this came out. This should have been a spring palette. Again, I, it's like some of these, like, um, like this one and these should have been out a little bit earlier than they should. Um, but it, it's a good palette. The packaging is kind of funky. Um, it's very flimsy. Um, so it's going to probably get, go through. Um, the... The only downsides about these is just like these, um, the pants are shallow. So you are going to go through them. Um, like Lily, I've like hit paint on that guy already. <laughs> not, and I've only had it for like a babe, not too long. So there's that guy. So thanks Jen for that one. Um, she recommend that one and I kind of grab it. And then get retails around 15 ish. Okay. Now this guy, um, this guy I bought off a of BoxyCharm. This is Ace Petit, um, Knowledge. I don't know how to say it. So yeah, I did um, buy this one. I bought this one, this one, and this one. Uh, Raina sent me these two, and um, these two came in. One came in a BoxyCharm, and one came in a uh, glossy box. Okay, so yay, so three out of six. <laughs> Not good. Okay, so here's what it looks like. Um, this is my was my first um, Ace Mate Forma. The Forma on these mats are freaking good. Um, the Forma on these mats are similar to the mats on this. These are bright ass mats. Beautiful. Um, the again, if you don't like color, you won't like this. Me, I love pinky purple shadows. That's Mimi. Um, I love, um, warm tone. The green, I could do without, but yeah, it gives it more of a versatility look. Um, the only sh sucky part is about this pack palette is that it only has three shimmers, which I'm kind of like, okay, which three lights? And they all light. So I'm like, okay. Um, if it would have, I'm like, it's still a really good palette. Um. I was going to do about more, so this was kind of like in the mid-tone, um, like mid-high. 
So yeah. So if uh, then I decided to split it up a little bit more. Okay, so there's that. So let me swatch these. Um, the the heat shade, freaking beautiful. I love it. Um, so this, the color story is beautiful. Um, nothing I would, only thing I would have changed is like I said, um, is to have another deep. Um, I guess it's supposed to be more of a mid tone light palette, more of a mid tone palette, but um. Like raspberry is about as dark as you go and hiking similar and um and carnival. These are the three darkest mattes. Um they would have put like a, maybe one more shimmer in it that's a little bit on like a little mid-tone. It would have been just like whoop, perfect. Each palette needs like a little bit tweaks to make it perfect. But this one, the formal on this one is just like freaking good. Alright. So, yeah, like the mattes just freaking good they are just so pigmented so bright neon perfect like perfect the uh, the formula and this one and these are uh, the mats are just like great mats beautiful mats the mats on these yeah like the comparison between this is like the mats on these are just like especially this palette right here too um the mats on these are just like, it doesn't compare to these um, mats. Um, this one is just kind of like, this is the old, I believe that's the old formula of um, XPT. Which is kind of sucky because it's one of the new palettes. So yeah, the formula on this one, beautiful. Um, easy to build, easy to blend. Just, just kind of, I don't want to say effortlessly, but yeah, it's just top notch again um i was gonna really going i was gonna do this ranking i was gonna have it it's like top five palettes but to make it like at the top top it would have needed like one more mat to even um to make it like damn <laughs> damn dude um like even like a like a purple mat i mean not mat i mean uh purple shimmer to even be like perfect and to give it more of a versatility because it's kind of like, okay, which one of these guys, like I get to 6,000 mats and I'm like, okay, to play with. And I'm like, you do get a similar vibe again. Like you can, you do get a similar vibe even with the pop of green. But yeah, I don't mind that. It's just kind of like, okay, more versatility more which ones I want to play with. Um, so I hope you guys like this. Um, and you put these guys away. Um, I guess I'm clean to do. I was going to do my um, one thing, but I'm like, I got to get these things done. I got too many um, palettes down here. Yeah, I might. I haven't decided if I want to do a, a whole year of palettes. I tried of uh, basically, I'm like, no, skip these, buy these, that type of thing. Um, I haven't decided if I want to do that. Um, I might do, because that's what I'm doing. I kind of want to do that towards the very end, maybe do like the top. Ten, top 10 top five type top five palettes and the bottom five palettes um i got this year i might do that um at the end of this year my sister is getting me uh one for christmas my nars but that's gonna be next year all right so like and subscribe to my channel and i talk to you guys later bye guys